Greetings from Johannesburg International Airport. I have a 12 hour flight behind me. Cabin crew, please be seated for landing. Thank you. And still a two hour flight ahead of me. And I thought that this seven hour layover would be a suitable moment to film a quick introduction for my entourage in Namibia. I'm going to spend the next few months in the country's capital, Bintu, during my exchange semester related to my TV and radio broadcasting studies back home. For the last few weeks I've been trying to gather as much information about Namibia and Africa in general. I guess I'm your average Finnish guy who knows embarrassingly little about geographics and uh, politics and the multitudes of the whole continent. So I had to start from zero, but but I think I did learn something. First of all, Namibia lies in the south of Africa, right next to South Africa, where I'm now. About 9,000 kilometers from my hometown, Helsinki. And despite its fairly small population of only two, two million people, it's still very rich culturally and linguistically. I checked the Wikipedia article, and it said that Namibia has more than 12 ethnic groups and seven recognized regional languages, whatever that means. But then let's get to the history part, which I find most interesting. Like most African nations, Namibia has not been untouched by colonialism. Since 1800s, uh, the Europeans have been very interested in ruling Namibia. During the First World War, the South Africans took control in Namibia and extended their notorious apartheid, apartheid regime there, which meant that the white minority deny the blacks from many jobs and also separated them to their own neighborhoods and like, territories. After, a, after a, a long fight for freedom, Namibia finally gained its independence in 1990, which is the same year I was born in. Some call colonialism a mental rape. I'm sure that a history so brutal and tragic and so recent must have left scars uh, in the na national psyche and identity. A friend of mine visited Namibia and South Africa quite recently and said she encountered racism between the blacks and whites in both countries. The heritage of colonialism and apartheid is something I'm, is an issue that I'm very interested in. My, my views are probably very black and white, no pun intended, uh, but I wish to learn more along the way. So I welcome you to join this journey on my video blog and for more updates like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter. Oh and there will be one more video about from Helsinki um, as soon as I have time to upload it, uh, edit and upload it. I don't know if it's before or after this clip. But anyway, anyways, thank you for watching and uh, see you next time.